So riding the 2017 Triumph Street Triple. It's a beautiful bike, no doubt about that. Clutch in as Triumph prefers to be started that way. Beautiful sound. Inside the book that I wrote Are all the words that we spoke Yet only with our eyes Now is the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise Lay it down, hope for something better Looking at the clouds, the sun Surprisingly light for uh, a street bike of this size. 765cc triple cylinder engine. We've got another black one following us, I believe. Seat height's kind of tall. I'm not sure what is the exact height. Whoa, the power is really strong on this one. I wasn't expecting that out of a like I've ridden the previous uh, Daytona I believe the power delivery is really <laughs> surprising quite a lot of punch for such a small bike and I guess they've reduced the weight over the previous version and it has gained a lot of BHPs 113 PS of power about 76 Newton meters of torque so doesn't feel sluggish in the low and mid range by any standards actually the bikes always raring to go Okay, brakes are also superbly strong, superbly carry. Oh wow! I mean, out on the highway, I will enjoy this power delivery. There's no doubt about that. But here, in the city, this is pretty scary. Now that was a bump. I personally think that the suspension for Indian roads will do it's it's well damped it's not one of those super hard suspension setups so it's kind of like uh, an overall well designed bike I must say I mean this is just I've been riding it for a couple of minutes so this is not a review or anything just the first ride impressions power delivery feeling everything is spot on and the bike is always ready to go and there is a lot of low and mid-range punch on this bike not like some of the sport bikes that is like high like the inline fours have a sluggish uh, performance on the lower revs and then on the higher revs they are pretty big it's not like that as well so I love this bike. Hmm. I wish I, I had corners to put this one through. In the city, doing at about 46, 47 kilometers per hour, that would be about 30 miles. You, you just don't feel it. You feel you're sitting on a very relaxed bike. There's no vibrations. That is obviously coming out of a three-cylinder engine. You don't expect vibrations. There is a slight purr. You can actually feel that the engine's on below you without it bothering you so much. What else is there? I mean, you can't really feel what this bike can do in this. So I probably will be doing a little bit of faster riding on the way back because now I'm getting used to the bike.
Whoa, this bike. <laughs> this is no pushover. I was kind of thinking like this might be an easy bike to ride. Uh, the previous bike, the previous Street Triple was somewhat easier to ride than this. This one, they've really worked very hard on the uh, power delivery to get it perfectly spot on and being a naked bike 113 ps definitely feels very strong not a pushover by any standards yeah too much traffic today Um, you know, I don't expect 700 or 600 cc bikes to scare you and thrill you the way this one is doing and definitely has my stamp of approval for, for its size it definitely feels bigger on the power. He gets the ride with Rahul's stamp of approval. If if I had 10 lakhs to buy a motorcycle right now in India, I'd probably go for this. The Daytona is no longer sold and there's supposed to be something. thing about people tell me which sport bike I buy and I tell them that you buy the street triple and they tell me that this is a naked bike it's not a sport bike I think I think it's better than having a 650 cc sport tourer than to have a 675 cc and right now it's a 765 cc naked sport bike I think that, that this makes more sense to me honestly it's got two power modes that I can show you right now. We're in road mode. So you can push it once and it goes to rain mode. I can press it back again just once. It is flickable while you're riding. You don't need to stop your bike to do this. It's not one of those Ducati's advanced uh, tra uh, traction control systems like where you have a eight-way uh, adjustable traction control as you'd find on a Ducati Monster. It's just a simple one. You can turn the traction control on or off and you can also go flick between two ride modes which is the rain or the road the rain will obviously cut down a bit of its power and also make the uptake a little slower so you don't get wheel spins while riding in the rain and uh, to be honest with you guys if you're riding something a motorcycle like this it will always obviously gonna be beginner friendly mode so should we go into the rain mode and see if it's really beginner friendly? Let's let's do that because we are anyways uh, getting stuck in traffic. Probably we are in the rain mode because I no longer feel that huge jumpiness which I was feeling. Now we're back in road. Oh yeah, there is a difference. Brakes are as usual amazing from Triumph. This is not running the Brembos. This is the Nissan on the S version. I would say feedback is a bit less. Um, it's slowing down, but I'm not really feeling that through the levers that much. So maybe that's gonna be better in the Brembos. But the brake is amazingly strong, and I can I can feel that I'm slowing down, but there's not much feedback through the brake lever itself that's the only thing that I don't like and there may be other flaws in it but on a, such a short ride you don't expect me to come up with the flaws handling it's it's really easy to handle this within the city that's all I can say I am not gonna try too many things maybe a little bit of flickability test but there's so much traffic you know this is going to be and um, the torque is definitely there even for the higher gears which means very street friendly motorcycle that guy's asking me about the mileage and I'm not really sure <laughs> the 
and the Indian obsession with mileage continues. They didn't ask me about the power, where it's made, which company is it from, which brand is it from, nothing. Just the mileage. Oh my god, this is powerful. This is powerful. It's really, really one of those bikes that I, I'm not I'm very picky about air pressure, me being a lightweight rider. I need lower air pressure. Overall, you know, first impression wise, I'm really, really satisfied with this motorcycle. I, I wish for a longer ride, of course, so that I can do a proper review. Here, I just, I don't think I went beyond the third gear. I probably should have gone beyond the third gear but here there's no space for the city ridings perspective let's talk a little bit about that because that's all i've done so far it's got a 76 newton meters of torque and it's delivered pretty early up in the power band so while you're doing in the city you will not feel that sluggish thing you will feel that you're riding a really powerful motorcycle whether you like that powerful motorcycle feeling in the city or not i'm not sure but most riders do most experienced riders do it's like a big engine is rumbling beneath you even when you're doing under 40 kilometers or 50 kilometers of speed that feeling that you have the power the moment you open it's gonna really blow everyone away for overtakings flicking within the city the bike isn't that wide so you can do filtering and stuff um, like we're kind of gonna attempt to do like I was saying it's kind of easy to filter with it's not a hard motorcycle to filter with it's a really nice bike so so that kind of thing is possible on this motorcycle riding position is not going to tire you anyways the foot pegs are pretty much rare set but I find them surprisingly comfortable the front is slightly leaned forward slightly which means on on a scale of a duke i would say a little bit more than that but it's definitely a very roomy bike the seat is long and you have a lot of room on the saddle even the pillion seat has been improved upon that's what the guy was telling me which means that you have a better room for both the rider and the pillion i hate riding on this surfaces it's got so much slippery So that comes uh, our sh quick ride, short ride. Overall a great motorcycle. I'm sold on this. If I had the money, this is definitely a bike I would have bought for myself. And not every bike is for your every person. Every rider is different. We respect everyone's opinions. On this bike, if you like sport bikes, if you're leaning towards fairings, I can understand that. Take a test drive. I think you will love it. The next Daytona is a year away, so might as well buy this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very very soon. This is Rahul. Goodbye.